Well, it's Sunday. I think it's April 30th. Uh, I woke up to clouds, a few raindrops, so I waited. I had a nice breakfast and coffee. Uh, it's like quarter to 10 in the morning. It took me forever to get my ass out the door. I had a few options as to what I would have liked to do today and my problem was that I wanted to do everything but I just yeah I've got I had to pick and choose what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna attempt a bit of a longer ride and skip the archery shoot there's a nice archery shoot at Burke Mountain There will be other archery shoots like next week and all that and this is kind of a once in a year event that I'm going to try to get to. I have no idea like what the procedure is to get in, like whether it's a paid event. There wasn't a lot of uh, information in their advertisement. Just had the place and the time, here's where you show up. No mention of like fucking tickets or anything like that. So. I'm kind of praying it's a free event. I mean, I, I just topped up my gas, took eight bucks of gas, which, okay. Okay, I made it through the Langley area. It was a little complicated, but now I'm on the legit uh, Fraser Highway, heading east. Oh, it's windy even on here. So I'm really kind of smart not being on the Trans Canada right now. Although it's not raining, this is a bit of a cloudy uh, frontal system. Steady. I do have a long way to go. A little uh, biker salute. Nice. Alrighty. Ugh. Okay, we'll save some camera. Wow. I'm a long way from home now. Okay, we're getting closer to Abbotsford. Uh, I turned the camera back on because I'm not really sure what happens here as we intersect with the Trans Canada up ahead. I don't know whether I go over the highway or under it or what the hell happens here. And I'll be honest, I, I enjoyed this, but it was pretty slow in terms of, uh, yeah. A pleasant, very pleasant way to come out here. Okay, I'm getting into a 50 here. Okay, there we go. Although I don't really have the battery power to film everything, um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going here. So... Honestly, think I'm. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get on the Trans Canada. There's Mount Lehman Road. Okay, so a local would be like, "Dude, you're almost there." Don't, you know what I mean? I, but I honestly think that like McClure Road might be okay for me. So third gear. Yeah, I'm not going to Hope. Fuck that. Okay, I think I did that right. Look at that, pretty cool. Let me get over here. 
Look at that, there's the Trans Canada, nice view of the mountains. And just like that, I'm in Abbotsford without going on the Trans Canada at all. This is quite nice, yo. I think just in case, I can be in this lane. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god.
hard. If he was still alive, to be able to do it. But I mean, I think he was really hard on the soldier lines to slowly and slowly forget that he was not coming back. And I'll be able to do that. You have to have collector plates to even get in this uh, part of the show thing. Vintage only. Okay, we got some beanie helmets. Not quite ready for that. Here we have uh, some custom bags, and you can get all kinds of stuff. We have everything for that. Yeah. Beauty. Okay, we got a bit of a traffic jam by the vintage uh, Indian. It's definitely got a bit of a patina on it. Look at that thing. Wow. Wow. Big old windscreen. <laughs> yeah, 1938, holy crap. Oh, there's a very similar bike to... Uh, well, I've got it. I have a dog at home, so I can't see my dad, really. Here, that's it. Okay, it would have been older than this one. I don't have You got my old idea. Have you heard of Tony Lockett? I know, but yeah, you got it. That's a fun place. That's a fun place. You got the kind of thing you get down. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to be careful with my camera. Not everybody here likes being there on camera. That's a nice ride. I don't know this brand. Anyone know this one? Probably British. Ariel. Ruby. Just do a little pan here. It's pretty busy, and I guess for some of the parts that are here, this would be the only place you could get them. You know what I mean? Like, if you need a part for an old, old bike, you're not going to be able to just go to the store. You've got to wait for an event like this, and fucking search. Yeah, my daughter from like your ring. I need a selfie stick. Okay. Definitely need a selfie stick. I want to get an aerial shot of this. Yeah, I better stop filming. It's pretty crowded.
<laughs> little two stroke, little thumper. Nice. Fucking gunning it. Okay, leaving the event. Bikes everywhere, baby. Okay, this guy on the in, on the dresser is uh, trained. He went right to a blocking position. It's a little chilly for me to be ditching the heavy leather, but I feel uh, good. I'm not cold yet. Yeah, I'm a time. I just wanted to do it. Like, fuck, fuck the clouds. It's summer, but it is a bit brisk for the flannel shirt. And that the guy loves that young little uh, Yamaha. I think that's what that is. It's a Honda, vintage Honda and a vintage Yamaha in this little group. So they're bike builders. I'm actually, uh, for some reason, I turned at Fraser Highway, so I'm taking a different way home than I thought I was going to. I thought this was Highway 10, and I was committed to the turn before I realized where I was. Oh well. This will actually bring me closer to my house anyway, so it's kind of cool. Although, I, again, I think it'll be a little slower. It's more uh, more of a, a retail area that the Fraser Highway goes through.
Okay, I'm at uh, 96th and 132nd. Uh, almost home. Yeah, I really wanted to be like a rich guy today and stop for lunch and all that kind of stuff. But the truth is, I blew a bit of money at that place. I, I don't even own the vintage bike yet, but one day, if I take care of this bike long enough, hopefully I can put collector plates on it. Which would be fun, but there's no way this is a show bike. I mean, it's had the shit beat out of it by both of its owners now. <laughs> I just gotta keep it running. There's a big dog in the back of that Mercedes. Big doofus. Person stopping here, they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Come on. Oh my god. No signal. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> Just trying to stay calm. Riding in traffic like this isn't my favorite thing, but taking that route, uh, hey buddy, taking that route out Fraser Highway was a really safe way to go all that way. It gets a little crazy on that Trans Canada, just at that speed and the wind and holy Dinah. I don't know if I'd feel better on a, a heavier bike. Like this bike does it, no problem. I'm just the chicken shit, you know, like I don't like it. in my helmet a little. Ah, okay. Okay guys, it's uh quarter to two. I've just had my, uh, even though it's cloudy, you might notice I'm wearing the um, uh, pit vipers because I've just had my uh, after ride apre session. West Coast style. West Coast. So, uh, yeah, I got the, uh, check that out. I got ice. But, um, 33rd annual vintage uh, motorcycle swap meet and uh, a show and shine. Now my bike isn't a show bike uh, by any means, but I took a lot of video and uh, yeah, this is just a quick outro back at the old uh, Hacienda. And I, I went there as a total lone wolf. I don't have close friends anymore. I wish I did. I met um, a guy from downtown where I bought uh, three little badges for um, 15 bucks. A little pricey, but I don't have an embroidery machine or whatever. So uh, I got two that were kind of pirate themed uh, due to my whole sailboat background. I really love that, you know. So I got a, a couple of badges like that, like with skulls on them and uh, a BC flag because he didn't have any uh, Canadian flags left. But uh, this guy's called Up Your Leather. Yeah, upyourleather.com. Also met and got, I bought a um, support badge, like a, for a dollar. You give them a loony and they give you a little uh, badge or a, a pin, sorry, my bad, a pin. So I bought my first um, club support pin uh it's for the vancouver or uh, calgary rather calgary the guy came all the way from alberta for this event 
So it's a Calgary uh, vintage motorcycle club, and the guy was awesome. Uh, this is his car, Bentley. I don't know if it, uh, like that, there. That's his car. I was chatting with him for a good few minutes. Uh, really a, a sweet old guy, very nice. He explained that he's been painting and doing custom work on bikes for a long time, and he actually has his own museum at his house which is somewhere out in the, it says Crestomere, Crestomere, Alberta, Highway 53, so somewhere out there. <laughs> I assume he's near Calgary because he also gave me pamphlets for a bunch of events in Calgary, which I'm going to put on. So anyway, I bought the t-shirt, 30 bucks, holy crap, and up your leather. Uh, I did get the guy's first name, but now I've forgotten it already, so that uh, bad. Fucking epic ride epic ride all the way out Fraser Highway parts of it were really fun parts of it were challenging because of the traffic uh, I missed the Haney Bypass not the Haney Bypass Langley Bypass I missed the Langley Bypass on the way out and I found it on the way back so good I gotta go down and cover the bike peace getting better at this rock on I'm not really a metalhead, so yeah. I didn't spend uh, all my teen years doing that. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.